Hi everyone, welcome to Get Ready With Me, Louise. So today we are going to be playing with the new Glam Light and Chucky palette. I know, I've got something in my eye. I can feel it, I just can't see it. Alright, so I don't know where it's at, but anyway. The new Chucky and Glam Light collab, good guys, I have it. We're going to play with it. I did not buy the full collection. I did not think I needed the full collection. To be fair, I didn't need any of this because this is not going to be something I gravitate to as far as using it. However, I would use it like through holidays, like Halloween. I would pull for it or um, it's just not like the first one. The first one I would use all winter, fall and winter to be fair. This one is... I guess it's more summer. I don't know. Basically, I bought the two makeup bags, the Chucky, the Good Guys, and the Tiffany. Love those. Think they're worth the price. Then I bought the eyeshadow palette and the highlighter, and that's it. So, for my face today, I'm wearing the Tear Tear Foundation, and I use the BK Beauty 106 to you to apply it today. Much better. Nikki, uh, makeup, the, is it makeup by Nikki LaRose? Her. She was talking about how to apply that foundation. Excellent tip. Works so much better. Throw the pad away, like she said, and you'll you actually might get along with the foundation. I do not mind it now. However, it's still not my favorite foundation. I'm not gonna lie. I know a lot of people like it, but I just I don't. I'm sorry, I don't. Um, it's okay though. Uh, let's see what else do we got. Um, for bronzer and blush, I am wearing the Too Faced. Toasted Peach and Peach My Cheeks. So this is the Toasted Peach Bronzer and this is the Peach My Cheeks Blush. They're broken there. So I won't be opening them, but this is what I'm wearing. Do y'all remember these? I'm going to use these up and then use these little containers for something. I don't know what. They're just too adorable. Um, for concealer, I'm wearing Natasha Denona and I set the rest of my, I set my face with the Natasha Denona Foundation Powder. Um, for the highlighter, I am wearing I'm Your Friend Till the End Chucky Highlighter. It looks white, but it goes on like a white gold. It's very sparkly. It's definitely going to enhance texture, but it is very cute packaging. Hence why I got it. But I do like this, and I went in with the light hand, but I think if I even went in with a lighter hand, it might have, I might actually like it more. It's not a lip from within. There is glitter. That is what they're known for. It's the same formula pretty much but it is pretty and it is nice if it's something you like and I, I, I do love the packaging of that so for the lips I just threw on my Sigma and the Beauty and the Beast I have no idea the color of this but it's this one here that is what's on my lips and then the eyeshadow palette yeah so that's what it looks like it opens up and there are your shades Here's my thing with this. You're going to have to like orange, orangey red tones, green or blue. If you don't like these tones, you're not going to like this palette. Skip it. Now, do I like these tones? No. Why did I buy it? I don't know. Because it's Chucky. I don't know. I mean, to be fair, it's glam light. That's why I bought it. But should I have bought it? Probably not. To be fair, if we're just talking about use, okay? We're going to play with this blue row, and you're going to see, and you're going to see the highlighter come back in action also, but let's just get started. So the first shade we're going to go into is He's My Chucky. I'm using my BK brushes. I will say that the blues are blue. Like, I didn't experience any patchiness or anything like that which is nice because I have experienced it before but I don't I still prefer the Hershey palette when it comes to blues we all know that from Glam White and they're the ones that you know got me the light blue so there is that but this particular blue look is not my favorite no not even a little bit but here we are because we have to play and we all knew I wasn't going to go in with green, so that just leaves the orange or this, and I don't know. I decided to go with blue. 
I am going to do a look with the orange, though. I may do a look with all of them. Who knows? Now we're going to go into Let's Be Friends to darken up the outer portion here the best we can. Not a makeup artist here, guys, so, you know. I will say that even though these shades are dark, they do blend nicely, and I do appreciate that from Glam Light. Like, I've never, I've never really had a problem with their mask. Their metallic shades, though, sometimes they're really good. Sometimes they're just not. It's almost like they're, sometimes they're really, like, metallic and foiled, and then sometimes they're just, like, a, a metallic, a dry metallic shade, I guess. I prefer the ones that are more, you know, foiled, personally. But everybody's different, and everybody has different, you know, likes and stuff, so. Like, as far as quality goes, this isn't bad, but... It's just not like my color story and that's okay. I knew that. And but that's what makes me the fool is that I knew that and yet I still bought it. Knowing that the only time I'm gonna use this palette is certain times of the year. Or I guess if somebody requested it, but like I'm not gonna personally pull for it, you know? Which makes it kinda silly to purchase, but over here, I never said I was smart. Going back into He's My Chucky. But I do like, like the color gradient of this. Like, it really does work for me. I don't feel so like... We're going to take the He's My Chucky under the lower lash line. I don't feel like this is like so far outside my comfort zone. I can't wear it or I can't go out in public I can't you know what I mean like I think the look turned out really pretty it does go light to dark this is not an all in one palette for me I'm going and that's the other reason why I bought that highlighter so that I could pull from the same collection and use it for an all in one look but like I said why did I buy this for Glam Light to support that brand. I do wish they would slow down a little bit because they're not expensive, but they're not cheap either, you know? I mean, their products are definitely worth their price point, but when you launch so much, it makes it harder to buy everything too. So now we're gonna go into the shade Good Guys, which is the darkest blue. And I'm just going to put that on the outer portion of my lid, like the inner, or the outer V, I guess, is what you would call it, and bring it in about halfway, let's do halfway, and that is a very dark blue, it's beautiful, it is a beautiful blue. That's what I mean. I get where they were going with this to keep with this, you know, theme. But it's just not a color story that is, for me, lovely, wearable every day, to be fair. Now, for some people, maybe it is. Which, if it is, that's so great for you because you're going to get your money's worth. For me, no. Now we're going to go into the shade You and Me. I'm just using that same brush, just flipped it over. Picking that up and putting it in the inner portion. And going about halfway. Just so they meet. Now this is a very pretty color. It, it is special, this particular color. It's very pretty. And to be fair, like all this... Each row goes very nicely if you were to put the highlighter as your inner corner, just so you know. It, each row works very well with that, and I like that. Because then it does, if you have both things, it does make it an all-in-one palette for you. 
which I like. Going back into the darker shade, because I don't want to lose it, and just sort of marry the two together somehow. And I'm not a makeup artist. Alright, then we're going to take the shade, that darkest shade, Let's Be Friends again. So I've used the whole row now. But we're going to line the lower lash line and the top lash line with it. And I would say it's got a, if you go by row, each row has like a starter shade, crease shade, whatever, mid-tone, then a darker shade, and then two, ex like, two metallic shades that could go with whatever look you want it to do. Or you could combine them even if you want it. Really, it's up to you, but I do like the way it is set up too. It makes it very easy for someone like me to use because again I am not one to see color the way people usually see color. Which I find funny because technically I kind of lead with my emotions, to be fair, which you would think would be like colorful, right? But then my thought process is almost black and white. Like, I know there's gray areas, but like my thought process, there's no color. Which is kind of weird to me, in a way. I don't know. But then, I mean, I'm told my thought process isn't normal, so there you go. So take what I say as a grain of salt. Alright. I think I got it lined pretty good. To be fair, I was going to use the blue mascara again from Pat McGrath for this look, but I didn't. And then I did apply this ColourPop Abby Google Avatar Making Waves. Y'all, this is dried out already. And I get it's probably almost a year old. But no, it wouldn't even go on the waterline. It kept crumbling. I think that is what is in my eye right now. Some, you know, floating around. Because I could not get it to do anything. I tried to warm it up on the back of my hand. It just wasn't having it, to be fair. Okay, now we're going to go into the highlighter, which is right here, and I am going to take it and just put it in my inner corner, and I'm going to tap it in, or like press almost, to make sure that glitter stays, because you will have glitter for days going down your cheeks if you're not careful with this. But if you are careful and you are precise, it's so pretty. It really is so pretty. Alright. I don't think I got any fallout. I do like the mirror in this little compact too. It's cute. I think I got both sides the same. As good as I'm going to. Let's just uh, run the shade He's my Chucky on the lower lash line again because I feel like Let's Be Friends, kind of, the darker shade kind of took away the lighter shade. And I like that lighter shade. Alright. Good enough, right? We are going to curl. Yes, we are. Mirror. Yeah. But 
but yeah I was going to do the blue and then I thought it'd be just too much I don't think it really would have been but I decided just to stick with the black instead because I do think that black works with this look too and then of course I'm using my lash clash for the top lashes so I don't make a mess. Because we all know you go one of two ways. It's giving me what I needed to give me. And then for the lower lash line, we will use Kelly Ray Come Hell or High Water. So overall, I think the makeup bags are a win. Yeah. I know. But I do, I really, really do. I got them both, so that does say something, and I am happy with both of them. And my grandkids are like gathered wanting them too, so I'm like, uh-uh. Mm -mm. So I do really like them. And they're almost the same as the Scooby-Doo, like as far as size. However, the Scooby-Doo don't have the chain. I think that's why the kids want these bags because of the chain. And Scooby-Doo don't have it. And they they want, they don't want Scooby-Doo because of it. I'm like, you should be loving Scooby-Doo. It doesn't have a chain. So I was like, ah, oh, gotcha. I understand now. The world makes sense. In the eyes of a five-year-old and a, or a four-year-old and a seven-year-old. <coughs> So, that's the final look using the products that I purchased from this collection. Do you need it? No. Would I even say that the formula is so amazing, you must get it? No. But, out of everything, if I had to, I really like this. And I think it's because it can be definitely seen from outer space or toned down. Never to a natural finish or glow within, but toned down. But it is a very pretty inner corner too. And the packaging is just as cute as a button, to be fair. So, as far as makeup goes, if I had to suggest something, it'd be this. Technically, you need none of it. But if you were thinking, I want just something, and it doesn't have to be makeup, the makeup bags. Just say it. Alright, but that is all I have for you today. I, the formula was good. I will continue to play with this and try other colors. I'm not so tempted on the green. You know how I feel about green. But the orange row, maybe it'll have my heart. I'm hoping. The blue row is not bad. So if the orange row wins, and, it's a, and I love it, then I have one that I love. One that's not bad, and then one that I'm just like, I don't like green. But maybe it will produce a pretty look. Who knows? 
but then it wouldn't be so bad at that point that I did purchase it right now I shouldn't have purchased it but I do support glam white there's very few brands that I'm like it doesn't matter what it is I'm I'm buying you know glam white is one of them Natasha pad of course color well no not color pop either because I've skipped a lot of theirs um Sick was another, but I do skip some. Yeah, really, I only... Tarte, maybe? I mean, I'm pretty consistent with Tarte, Too Faced, kinda. I mean, really, those are the three brands. Glam White, Natasha, and Pat are the three that I'm like, I don't care what it is, so... But anyway, let me know your thoughts on this collection. Were you eyeing it even? Are you like, uh-uh? Are you over Glam White? I've heard a lot of, you know, I'm not over Glam White now. Don't get it twisted. But they're becoming a brand where I'm like, do I need it? Which means they're launching too much, in my opinion. So, but let me know your thoughts. Although when they do launch, they do nail their collabs too. So let's not get that, you know. I, I just don't know the answer for that, but yeah, let me know your thoughts. I am I'm curious on it. Um, I will continue to play and get back with you on it, but yeah. So and again, remember this is from I am not a makeup artist. I don't know nothing about nothing. I'm just a girl playing with makeup in a corner. Just just keep that in mind if in case you don't agree with something, okay? Because there could be reasons why. Because I don't know what I'm doing, but anyway. I'm going to let you go. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, ring the bell, hit all that where you're notified when I upload. I upload every day but Sunday unless there's a new lunch. And I will see you in the next one. Until then, stay safe, stay healthy. Bye.